Now we're gonna discuss Oncology Helicopter Overview, Module 2. In Module 1, Oncology Basics, we've discussed the introduction, cancer definition, cancer hallmarks, and abnormal proliferative growth behavior, genes involved in cancer, and the two head hypotheses, carcinogens, cancer grading and staging, and cancer management. In the module two, we're gonna discuss chemotherapy classification and the principles, cancer management, principles of chemotherapy, cell cycle review, and the chemotherapy treatment types. Cancer management. There are two possible goals for the treatment of the cancer, cure and or palliation. When the tumor is localized, the physician will choose the cure pathway. And if the cancer is a metastatic cancer, the palliation way is the best fitting solution. And for the locally advanced or stage three cancer, it is in between cure and palliation and it depends on the healthcare team decision and treatment plan. Now we should know more about three pivotal topics. First one is the curative treatment, which is considered to engender a small degree of risk of significant side effects or the possibility of cure, indicated when a curative technique, usually surgery, is available and the patient factors are favorable, such as lack of comorbid illnesses. The disease progression is localized if a patient doesn't have metastases with a lower stage tumor. Second topic is about palliative care. It is considered to alleviate symptoms when the risks of significant side effects outweigh the benefit of possible cure. And when there is metastatic disease and the patient factors are unfavorable, for example, presence of comorbid illnesses, salvage chemotherapy. It is a treatment given after a cancer has not responded to other treatments, standard therapy. And the treatment given for cancer that has come back recurred. And the goal of salvage therapy is to treat the disease and improve quality of life. Now we're going to try to demonstrate this slide. The effects of various treatments on cancer cell burden in a hypothetical patient. Here, as you can see, the vertical line is all about the tumor cell burden or lag scale. And here is the time scale. And as you can see here, the start of the cancer, one milligram mass without any symptoms or asymptomatic. And here, if the cancer is about one gram, the symptoms are starting to, to be appeared. As you can see here, one gram mass cancer, significance of a one gram tumor mass, a total of 10 power nine cells is the smallest tumor burden that is physically detectable. And this one billion cells represent a tumor weighing, okay. represent a tumor weighing about one gram or about the size of a small grape. Clinical symptoms usually first appear at this stage. And from here, from this stage, if the disease progresses to reach one gram mass of tumor or the patient will die. And in this stage, there are two pivotal ways. First way is curative way and the palliative chemotherapy. For the curative chemotherapy, as you can see here, curative chemotherapy for the solid tumors, such as testicular carcinoma, the tumor burden is initially reduced by surgery and or radiation. As you can see, the tumor reduced blew the one milligram mass and followed by the treatment of followed by the treatment of occult micrometastases or secret micrometastases as continued after clinical signs of cancer have disappeared. And when it comes to the disseminated cancers, such as leukemia, the curative chemotherapy option is done by the applying a chemotherapy protocols. The combination drug chemotherapy reduces the chance of drug resistance and each drug is choosing to have different cellular site of action or different cell cycle specificity. Each drug is choosing to have different organ toxicity. 
Here is a treatment with anti-cancer drug and its cycles. The other option is the palliative chemotherapy as initial remissions are transient with symptoms recurring between treatments and survival is extended but the patient eventually dies of the disease. As you can see here, cancer cells become increasingly less responsive to treatment and finally death. Here we should notice that below the one gram mass or, or 10 powered by nine cells, the patient is asymptomatic and the patient symptomatic will start from the one gram mass and above. Oncology clinical practice guidelines. Guidelines summarize the current medical knowledge, weigh the benefits and the harms of diagnostic procedures and treatments, give specific recommendations based on this information, provide information about the scientific evidence supporting those recommendations, document evidence-based and consensus-driven management to ensure that all patients receive preventive diagnostic treatment and supportive services that are most likely to lead to optimal outcomes. The most famous clinical practice guidelines in oncology are first ASCO or American Society of Clinical Oncology and European Society of Medical Oncology and National Comprehensive Cancer Network. Now we should know more about the ECOG, which is the Eastern Cooperative Oncology Group. ECOG-ACRIN formed from the merger of the Eastern Cooperative Oncology Group or ECOG and the American College of Radiology Imaging Network. ECOG score helps physician and the healthcare team to determine curative or palliative pathway is the best fitting solution for the patient. ASCO guidelines recommend against the use of chemotherapy in solid tumor patients who have not benefited from prior treatment and who have an Eastern Cooperative Oncology Group ECOG performance status score of three or more. In 2012, an American Society of Clinical Oncology expert panel identified chemotherapy use among the patients for whom there was no evidence of clinical value as the most widespread, wasteful, and unnecessary practice in oncology. ECOG grading score, curative or palliative decision. For the grade zero ECOG, the patient is fully active and able to carry on all pre-disease performance without restriction. In the grade one, restricted in physically strenuous activity, but ambulatory and able to carry out work of a light or sedentary nature, such as lighthouse work and office work. For the grade two, the patient is ambulatory and capable of all self-care, but unable to carry out any work activities up and about more than 50% of the waking hours. For the grade three, capable of only limited self-care, confined to bed or chair more than 50% of waking hours. For the grade four, completely disabled, cannot carry on any self-care and totally confined to bed chair. Finally, Grade 5 SOG dead. Principles of chemotherapy. Chemotherapy can be indicated in different clinical settings. First, chemotherapy type. Primary chemotherapy, induction of remission for disseminated disease, high dose aggressive schedule for a short period of time. New adjuvant, treat and shrink and or shrink the cancer before surgery and or radiation. Adjuvant given after surgery and or radiation treatment to kill remaining cancer cells. Maintenance chemotherapy given in lower doses in order to prolong the remission. Palliative chemotherapy alleviate particular cancer symptoms to improve the patient's quality of life without expecting to reduce the cancer. Oncology clinical endpoints. To understand the clinical trials, we should know the following definitions. First endpoint is OS or overall survival which is the time from randomization to death, and it is the gold standard for primary clinical endpoint. BFS, or progression-free survival, which is time from randomization to disease progression or death, whichever comes first, and used to assess therapies targeting advanced or metastatic malignancies. ORR, objective response rate, which is proportion of patients with partial 
or complete response to therapy used to assess new adjuvant therapies. CR, complete response, or NED, no evidence of disease, which is the lack of detectable evidence of tumor and included as a major goal of multiple myeloma treatment. DFS or disease-free survival and RFS, which is relapse-free survival, which is a time from randomization to disease recurrence and used to assess adjunctive therapies. EFS or event-free survival, which is a time from randomization to disease progression, discontinuation of the treatment for any reason or death, and used to evaluate highly toxic treatments. DCR, disease control rate, or CPR, clinical benefit rate, percentage of patients with complete response, partial response, or at least month of stable disease as a result of their therapy. This graph demonstrates the idea with the easiest, shortest possible way. Here, as you can see, endpoints with relationship to hypothetical tumor size on a time scale. As you can see here on the start, with large tumor size, here's the randomization and initiation of primary therapy. And in this stage, initiation of next line therapy. And in this stage, after disappearance of the cancer, recurrence, reappear of the cancer. And in this stage, discontinuation for any reason of the treatment, and here, evidence of disease progression with large tumor size, and finally, death. And as you can see, overall survival starts from randomization and initiation of primary therapy until death. And the progression-free survival, it starts from the randomization and the initiation of primary therapy until evidence of disease progression or death. And Event-free survival starts from randomization and initiation of the primary therapy until discontinuation of the treatment or evidence of disease progression or even death. And disease-free survival from the time of randomization and initiation of primary therapy until the recurrent time to treatment failure starts from the randomization and the initiation of the primary therapy until and until the discontinuation of the treatment for any reason or evidence of disease progression, or even death. Time to next treatment starts from randomization and the initiation of the primary therapy until the initiation of next line therapy. That's it. To understand the chemotherapy classification and the mechanism of action, we should make a little bit deep diving to know more about mitosis and meiosis. As you can see here, this is the mitosis, the parent cell, DNA replicates and give two daughter cells. And when it comes to meiosis, parent cell, DNA replicates two daughter cells, and after that, the end result is four daughter cells. We should notice that most of the time, when people refer to cell division, they mean mitosis. The process of making new body cells. Mitosis is a fundamental process for life. During mitosis, a cell duplicates all of its contents, including its chromosomes, and splits to form two identical daughter cells. Because this process is so critical, the steps of mitosis are carefully controlled by certain genes. When mitosis is not regulated correctly, health problems such as cancer can result. When it comes to meiosis, Meiosis is the type of cell division that creates egg and sperm cells. Ensures that human have the same number of chromosomes in each generation. It is a two-step process that reduces the chromosome number by half from 46 to 23 to form sperm and egg cells. When the sperm and egg cells unite at conception, each contributes 23 chromosomes so the resulting embryo will have the usual 46 chromosomes. Review of cell cycle. This slide is quite important and we should, and we should exert our utmost effort to understand every single point in this slide. The process of events that a cell goes through in order to divide an understanding of the cell cycle is helpful to understand the chemotherapy. As you can see here, Cell cycle, starting from G0, G0 resting phase, cells that are not active. 
And here, as you can see, psilocybin non-specific drugs are working in this stage, alkylating agents, anti-tumor antibiotics, platinum agents. And when it comes to G1, in G1, the cell is preparing for cell division by upregulating synthesis of proteins, enzymes, macromolecules, and organelles. Its synthesis phase, in this phase, the cell replicates each chromosome. As you can see here, the S phase specific drugs such as anti metabolites and topoisomerase inhibitors. G2 or second growth phase involves growth prior to mitosis. In the G2, beliomycin is G2 phase specific drug. For the M mitosis phase, as you can see here, finally M phase is where the cell divides through the process of mitosis and beta alkaloids and thixanes or M-phase specific drugs. The cell cycle, as you can see here, starts on the G0, resting state, cell is not dividing. After that, G1, synthesis of enzymes needed for DNA synthesis. After that, S-phase, DNA is replicated, and in the G2, synthesis of cellular components required for mitosis. And finally, M, mitotic, mitotic phase, cell divides, then back to G0. Here cell cycle specific drugs examined, anti-metabolites, beliomycin, vinca alkaloids, and etoposide. They are effective for the high growth fraction malignancies such as hematologic cancers. And for the cell cycle non-specific drugs such as alkylating agents, antibiotics, cisplatin, and nitrosurea, effective for both low growth fraction malignancies such as solid tumors, as well as high growth fraction malignancies. The common chemotherapy adverse effects, according to Iranian Journal of Public Health, most common chemotherapy adverse effects are as follows, vomiting 79%, fatigue 74%, alopecia or hair loss 60%. According to current National Comprehensive Cancer Network, guidelines, the chance of myelosuppression in patients, specifically neutropenia, is more than 20%. Additionally, with the use of growth factor support, the risk of myelosuppression in patients on chemotherapy is between 10 to 20%. Organ-specific chemotherapy serious adverse effects. We try to summarize the most famous organ-specific chemotherapy serious adverse events. As you can see here is the patient body. The first letter of the drug with a color code represents the place where the side effects are appeared. For example, cytherapy causes chemical conjunctivitis. And second, oxaliplatin, vincristine, taxi causes peripheral neuropathy. As you can see, cardiotoxicity caused by doxorubicin and donorubicin. And when it comes to cyclophosphamide and iphosphamide, causes hemorrhagic cystitis. Irinotecan causes diarrhea. Beliomycin and busulfan causes pulmonary toxicity. And finally, cisplatin, which causes autotoxicity and nephrotoxicity and nausea and vomiting. Co Comparison of minute potential of anti-cancer drugs. We have three main categories, mild, moderate, or strong minute potential. When it comes to the strong minute potential, its members are carnustine, cisplatin, the carbazine, and streptazosin, and for the moderate emetic potential, or asparaginase, azocytidine, carboplatin, cyclophosphamide, doxorubicin, mitomycin. And when it comes to the mild emetic potential group, its member are peliomycin, etoposide, fluorouracil, methotrexate, vincristine. Dexamethadone on dancitron combination is one of the most effective anti-emetic combination for the treatment of chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting. Drugs used in the chemotherapy-induced nausea and vomiting, phenothiazines, such as prochlorpyrazine, 5-HT3 serotonin receptors blockers, such as duranacitron, ondancitron, palonocitron, and substituted benzamides, such as metoclopramide, budrophenone, such as droberadol, Haloperidol, benzodiazepine, such as albrazolam, lorazepam, corticosteroids such as dexamethasone and methylprednisolone.
substance B, neurokinin 1 receptor blocker, such as a prepitant. And when it comes to the antimedic activity, the most powerful groups are serotonin antagonists, substituted benzamide and phenothiazine. Comparison of myelosuppressive potential of chemotherapeutic drugs. First category has the strong myelosuppressive potential and its members are venplastine, nitrosurea, cyclophosphamide, cytarabine, doxorubicin, and the second category with intermediate myelosuppressive potential, its members are carboplatin, procarbazine, etoposide, methotrexate, 5 fluorouracil When it comes to the myelosuppressive potential category, its members are peleomycin, vincristine, methotrexate with leucoberine. Chemotherapy classification, antimetabolites or S-phase specific, monoclonal antibodies, microtubule inhibitors, M-phase specific, topoisomerase inhibitors or S-phase specific, cell cycle non-specific or CCNS, such as alkylating agent, anti-tumor antibiotics, and platinum agents, or hormonal therapies. Chemotherapy classifications and categories members, anti-metabolites, azacidabine, tapacidabine, cladribine, cytarabine, fludarabine, 5 fluorouracil gemcidabine, 6 mercaptopurine, methotrexate, pemetrexate, tralatrexate, antibiotics, bilumycin, donorubicin, doxorubicin, iparubicin, idarubicin, midozantron, alkylating agent, busulfan, carnustine, chlorambucil, cyclophosphamide, dacorpazine, iphosphamide, lomastine, milfalan, and temozolamide. Microtubule inhibitors, docetaxel, Baclataxel, venplastine, vincristine, venorolbine, steroid hormones and their antagonists, anastrazole, bicalutamide, estrogens, eximastane, flodamide, fulvestrant, goxerelin, letrazole, luprolide, megestrol, acetate, nalutamide, prednisone, Raloxifene, tamoxifen, triptorelin, bevacuzumab, cetoximab, rituximab, trastuzumab, tyrosine kinase inhibitors, desadenib, erlotinib or erlotinib, imatinib or imatinib, nilotinib, serafinib, sunedinib, others such as abiratron, Asparaginase, carboplatin, cisplatin, enzalodamide, etoposide, interferons, irinotecan, oxaliplatin, procarbazine, topotecan. Now we're going to demonstrate chemotherapy mechanism of action blueprint and to have a full understanding of this mechanism of action in this slide, we should go back to this slide after finishing studying of module 3. As you can see here, this is the burine and biromedine senses milestone, and here is ribonucleotides, and here is deoxyribonucleotide, and here DNA, finally RNA and proteins. When it comes to the sexual captopurine and thioguanine, it inhibits the de novo senses of purine ring, inhibit nucleotide interconversions. For the 6 mercaptopurine, thioguanine, inhibit the de novo senses of purine ring and inhibit nucleotide interconversions. And here, methotrexate, inhibition of dihydrofolate reductase, leads to an inhibition of purine ring and deoxythymidine monophosphate biosenses. And for the 5 fluorouracil inhibits deoxy inhibits deoxythymidine monophosphate senses. And after that, the oxyribonucleotides, and when it comes to cytarabine, which terminates the DNA chain elongation, 
and the incorporation into DNA and RNA results in altered functioning of nucleotide acids. For the paleomycin, doxorubicin, and donorubicin, session of DNA by an oxidative process. And for the dactinomycin, donorubicin, and the doxorubicin, intercalate with DNA, disturbing DNA function. And finally, for the alkylating agents, nitrosurease and cisplatin, alter structure and function of DNA by cross-linking and or fragmenting of DNA strands. Now we're gonna make a little bit deep diving in the mechanism of actions for the chemotherapy different categories. First, we should discuss some basic informations about the DNA and its components before the start of talking about the mechanism of action of chemotherapy, such as anti-metabolites. First, we should know more about nucleotides. A nucleotide consists of five-sided sugar molecule, either ribose in RNA or deoxyribose in DNA, attached to phosphate group and a nitrogen-containing base. As you can see here, here is a five-sided sugar molecule and attached to the nitrogenous base. And here is the phosphate group. The bases used in DNA are adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine. This is the structure of the deoxyribonucleic acid DNA. Here, adenine, thymine, cytosine, guanine. In RNA, the base uracil takes the place of thymine. It's a basic structural unit and the building block of DNA. These building blocks are hooked together to form a chain of DNA, as you can see here in this graph. The purine base A and G or adenine and guanine. The purine base A and G, here is the structure of the adenine and guanine in the DNA structure, as you can see here, adenine, adenine, which is buried with hydrogen bond to thymine and guanine, which is buried by hydrogen bond to cytosine to form this DNA structure. Here is the pyrimidine base C and T, cytosine, as you can see here, and thymine. And thymine, and here is thymine, which is buried, which is buried by hydrogen bond to adenine, and cytosine, which is buried here with guanine. This slide is about the mnemonic regarding burine and pyrimidine. Burine, bure as gold, adenine, and or guanine. And when it comes to pyrimidine, we should remember this statement, cut the bi, C for cytosine, U for uridine, and T for thymine. DNA structure, as you can see here, the oxyribonucleic acid. Here is the major groove and the minor groove. And here is the sugar phosphate backbone and the base pair between adenine, thiamine, thymine, adenine, cytosine, guanine, guanine, cytosine. And here is the structure of the nucleotide, for example, for the adenine with its nitrogenous base and the sugar, and here is the phosphate group. Burines always bears with pyrimidines. As you can see here, here is burine or bure as gold. Its member is adenine and guanine. Is bared with cut the bi which is cytosine and thiamine. Burines always bears with pyrimidines. It is a crucial statement. Burines always bears with pyrimidines. Here is the base bears, thymine, adenine, cytosine, guanine, to form the deoxyribonucleic acid. Now we're gonna start the anti-metabolite agents, mechanism of actions. Anti-metabolites is phase, Anti-metabolites are chemotherapy drugs that prevent cancer cells from making more cancer cells, replicating. They trick cancer cells into using the drug instead of molecules it needs to make the genetic material to replicate or DNA. We should know that thymidine monophosphate or TMP, also known as thymidylic acid, conjugate based thymidylate, deoxythymidine monophosphate or DTMP, or deoxythymidylic acid conjugate base deoxythymidylate. DTMP, deoxythymidine monophosphate, consists of a phosphate group and pentose sugar, and the pentose sugar deoxyribose 
in the nucleobase thymine, which is a pivotal part of the DTMP. Mechanism of action of methotrexate and the effect of leucoverine. As you can see here, the diet or intestinal flora produce folate, and the folate enters the cell or the target cell. Inside the cell, the folate converted to the FH2 or the dihydrofolate, which is converted to. And as you can see here, the dihydrofolate reductase enzyme catalyzes the conversion of folate to dihydrofolate and after that to and after that to tetrahydrofolate. After that, the tetrahydrofolate hydrofolate is converted to n 5 n 10 methylene tetrahydrofolate which is thymidylate or the oxythymidine monophosphate biosensors plays an essential and exclusive function in DNA senses and proper cell division. Thymidylate synthase catalyzes a crucial step in DNA senses by methylating the oxyuridine monophosphate to the oxythymidine monophosphate and using the N5N10-methylene tetrahydrofolate and the deoxythymidine monophosphate is subsequently phosphorylated to produce thymidine triphosphate, DTTP, which is a vital precursor for DNA replication and repair. When it comes to the mechanism of action of methotrexate, methotrexate enters the cell through active transport process and methotrexate inhibits dihydrofolate reductase and as a result of that impair the senses of deoxythymidine monophosphate and inhibits DNA replication and repair. The N5N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate is crucial to form adenine, guanine, thymidine, methionine, and serine. Leucoverine rescue. Leucoverine or folinic acid acts as an antidote, functions to limit the myelosuppression for the GIT toxicity, nephrotoxicity, and the neurotoxicity result as secondary to high dosage of methotrexate and other folic acid antagonists. It should be administered 24 hours after methotrexate dose. Administer N5 formal tetrahydrofolate or leucoverine or folinic acid, which is converted to N5 N10 methylene tetrahydrofolate, and therefore bypass the inhibited reductase mechanism by the methotrexate. Tissue toxicity may be permanent if the leucoverine therapy gets delayed beyond 40 hours. Mechanism of action of 5 fluorouracil. 5 fluorouracil, as you can see, enters the target cell and is converted inside the cell to the 5 deoxyuridine monophosphate which competes with deoxyuridine monophosphate for the enzyme thymidylate sensitase and as a result of that the deoxythymidine monophosphate formation is inhibited the DTMP is needed for the DNA senses and the cell growth metabolic pathway of cabacidabine to 5 fluorouracil as you can see here, the cabacidabine as a pro drug is converted to the 5 fluorouracil Three enzymes are involved in this conversion. Carboxyl esterase, cytidine diaminase, thymidine phosphorylase. Mechanism of action of 6 mercaptopurine. 6 mercaptopurine is purine antagonist which inhibits DNA and RNA senses and acts as false metabolite which is incorporated into DNA and RNA and eventually inhibiting their senses. As you can see here, 6 mercaptopurine is converted to 6 thioinosanic acid or TIMP, which inhibits the formation of the IMP or xanthocene monophosphate, which is converted to two important components, AMP and XMP. When it comes to the AMP or adenosine monophosphate, which is interconverted to ADP or adenosine diphosphate or ATP or adenosine triphosphate and AMP is also a component in the senses of RNA and AMP is present in all known forms of life. The IMP dehydrogenase or inosine 5 monophosphate dehydrogenase plays a key role in the biosenses pathway of purine nucleotides by catalyzing the conversion of IMP to xanthocene monophosphate or XMB, which in turn serves as a substrate for the production of production of guanosine monophosphate or GMB.
by GMP synthetase. Mechanism of action of gemcitabine. First, we should know about the DNA polymerase and ribonucleotide reductase enzymes. When it comes to the DNA polymerase, they are enzymes that create DNA molecules by assembling nucleotides, the building blocks of DNA, and are essential to DNA replication and usually work in birds to create two identical DNA strands from one original DNA molecule. And the ribo and the ribonucleotide reductase or RNR is the, the enzyme provides the precursors needed for both synthesis and repair of the DNA. For the mechanism of action of the gemcitabine, it inhibits the DNA synthesis by inhibition of DNA polymerase and ribonucleotide reductase. The phosphorylated active metabolites gemcitabine diphosphate and gemcitabine triphosphate, gemcitabine diphosphate inhibits DNA synthesis by inhibition of ribonucleotide reductase and gemcitabine triphosphate incorporates into DNA and inhibits DNA polymerase. And as a result of that inhibition of the DNA senses, anti-metabolites is phase. Cabocytabine, fluorouracil, mechanism of action, pyrimidine analog, inhibits thymidylate synthase, which depletes thymidine needed for DNA and RNA synthesis. Cabocytabine is an order prodrug of 5-FU. Fluxuridine, analog of 5-fluorouracil. Gemcitabine, gemcitabine and citerabine. Pyrimidine analog, which inhibits DNA polymerase and causes chain termination, causes DNA breakage. Flodarabine, adenosine analog, which inhibits DNA polymerase when incorporated into DNA, causes DNA breakage. Methotrexate, folate analog and inhibits dihydrofolate reductase, depletes burine and thymidine nucleotides necessary for DNA synthesis. Leucovorine folinic acid used for reversal of methotrexate toxicity and as a part of chemotherapy regimens. Hydroxyurea inhibits ribonucleotide reductase necessary for DNA senses. Cladribine, adenosine analog, causes DNA breakage. Ethothioprene, six mercaptopurine, six thioguanine, inhibits purine nucleotide senses.